everyone, and welcome to Arventura TV. I'm Sandra Cepak. On today's show, we're welcoming Juan Carlos Mendez. He is with American Berry Farms here in Ventura County. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much for joining us today. Okay. Very good. Uh, today, we're going to talk about a very important thing that has recently happened, the storm uh, flooding, uh, atmospheric river flooding that has been in the Ventura County area and how so many farms have been affected, including yours, and many farm workers have been affected um, and coping with the loss, uh, especially with your farm, which um, does farm strawberries. So you've seen a, a very big loss due to flooding. So I wanna ask you about some of the things you are now faced with and handling after all this has happened. Well, uh, mm. Because we're located there by Victoria and Oliva. So we got a flooding over there. We lost everything on the strawberry field. Okay. Uh, water was maybe like 10 feet uh, high. Okay. It came from nowhere. So we lost everything. Everything. That's what we can do right now. Okay. How how big is your farm? Uh, we have 20 acres over there by Victoria, but we have more places. But the one we got um, uh, with the flooring is over there by Victoria and Oliva. Okay. A few. So when you came upon all this after the flooding, what did you find? What was everything? Under mud? Uh, everything was under mud. And um, uh, we have uh, trucks over there and tractors. Some of them were flipped over. Uh, some equipment was uh, the water took it away. So it was pretty bad. Pretty so, bad. And a lot of trash coming from every, everywhere. Okay. Uh, when it got flooded, it took maybe like two days so the water can go out. Okay. So I understand your own work truck was affected by the, all this, completely muddied. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So I don't know. <laughs> so because okay. I'm not going to hear you that well, but right. uh, so so we lost a, a lot of trucks and everything and money. And then the, we have employees that we don't have anymore. We used to have like 40 employees. Oh. Yeah, I don't have work in, not right now. Okay, so this has now affected all the employees that you had on the farm. Yeah, it's affecting all the employees, and plus the uh, customers we have for the strawberries, we we don't supply in anymore. So that's maybe why the strawberries right now. Okay. Market is high because this happened in a lot of places here in Santa Maria and Salinas, and it was pretty bad. Yes, yes. And and we see it at the stores now because the strawberries are very high in price and very scarce. Yeah, you're very scarce. But that's why, because it's not right. a lot for strawberries to supply the market. Right. And that's why it's high. Right. So many of your employees, which you're mentioning 40 plus employees, uh, now they've got lost wages. They've been inundated with their own homes being affected and possibly no job to come back to. Yeah, possible. We won't have a job for them soon, maybe until June, so maybe four or five months without a job. So it will, yeah, so it's going to be months before they can even come back to work. Yeah, if they come back too, because, you know, they had to look for a job. So right. we don't know if we, we, we don't still, still want to get those workers back. And then again, when season starts, we need to find new workers and it's hard to find the ones we have, yes. you know. Yes, which so, is very difficult. Yeah, that's not yeah. an easy task. Um, how have you been affected financially now? Well, I've been affected because, uh, like, we lose the crop, so our income is going to be less. And you know what? Uh, like, the land is going to be there for a while, you know, no strawberries, no nothing. No and nothing, we need, right. We need to let it dry. So we're losing money every day. Every day, right. Right. Then plus the equipment we lost, so uh, we need to buy new equipment or fit or whatever. It's going to be a lot of money. Yes. Now, you mentioned not only did you lose your strawberry crop, but you've lost machinery, equipment, pipes, everything in the fields. Yeah. We, we lost uh, pipes, uh, tractors, four leaves, uh, a lot of boxes. We have empty boxes that we use, we use for the packing of strawberries. Okay. Well, where's I don't know where they went. So right, we lost a lot of money to on those, and it's gonna cost a lot of money to repair or get a new one. Okay. So we need to get some money from somewhere else to do it. 
Right. So now you are faced with uh, financial difficulties, uh, farming difficulties. What are the state and local governments doing to help with resources that you need? Uh, actually, there is a supposed to be a program that's going to be opening from USDA uh, Agriculture. Okay. Uh, they are trying to help us. So I don't know when it's going to be, but supposedly we're supposed to get some help from there. Let's hope we get it. Well, that'll be a big help if it all comes through, but this is going to take a long time, I I would assume. Yeah, it's going to take a long time, you know, papers and... Okay, yeah. Uh, um, well, so no other guys, sometimes they lie, you know, the deal. Right. Will you continue farming? Yeah, I will continue farming because I need to get income, come into my house. Right. So I need to right. keep working all the time. Okay. Even though we're losing money, that way we need to keep working. So what are you going to do now in between um, handling everything that you've got to take care of financially until you can plant the next crops? Well, now we need to clean up the field. Okay. And try to get the money to work. Right. It's still working. Right. So, and repair the equipment, whatever we can. And Whatever we can, try to buy it. We can get a loan or something. Thanks so much. Thank you. And thank all of you for joining us today on Arventura TV. I look forward to seeing you next time. I'm Sandra Seapack. Bye, everyone.